Hey, Cancer. Happy full moon in Pisces. I'm a little late due to work. The part, the work that the big job has started again. But I'm excited to see what's going on for you. And I'm wrapping up the cardinal signs this today, this afternoon. And I just did a full moon reading if you're interested in that. And I'll do one, just the same questions specific to you. Maybe we get some more information about that or a totally different story altogether. Let's see. So we're going to pull from the good tarot, which says to me, I want to talk from the full moon in Pisces, Pisces, all this watery moon mystery dissolving energy. So let's see what's happening for you. Cancer, there's justice here for you in this time. It could be a legal situation. It could be a social justice situation. It could be Finding balance here. I always look for the sword and the scales in a justice card. And we can see that this angel, I think importantly, standing in front of this full moon, which makes me think of the moon card, which is the card of Pisces, but also of tonight's full moon. And there's the sword lit up with the truth. And the scales are here out of balance. So... Let's find out more about that. And underlying energy for this. One card. The two of air, a decision. Your mind, the air is your mind. And you can see this figure has, she appears to be given this choice, a good look. Um, usually in a of air we see a blindfolded person who because she's looking to her inner inside of herself she's not open to outside advice and I just I guess I see the the um the unbalanced scales mirrored here by this this gesture it's like one one thing is is prevailing over the other that may or may not be um I'll just mention that I see transformation on the bottom, which is the card, the death card. So that's coming in ahead. And let, we'll see if it shows up in the cards. I've been noticing that happening. But I also mention it because I just see a lot of transformation in the cards now. Okay. I like it. I like transformation. Okay, Cancer. I will lead you along through this reading as we go. The first question I am going to ask has to do with our full moon in Pisces, which I understand from listening to astrologers will give us the, something is going to dissolve. And so that's what I'm asking here is what is dissolving in Cancer's world? Hmm. Strength, the card of strength. So that's, it's a positive card um strength you may be just losing your ability to rise to your higher self um sometimes i think of strength as um withholding from yourself your physical passionate animal nature that's represented by the lion the lion is your animal lustful lower nature in the hero and then the feminine element is always dominating that line in the strength card. So it's supposed to be about rising to your higher self. But sometimes that can come in as like being a little overly self-controlling. Okay. The second card has to do with the sun in Virgo right now. And we're asked to look in our everyday lives for something to be grateful for. And it looks like you're feeling discontent in your everyday life. Mm -hmm. This is part of a broader collective feeling. That's like that path is taking you off the planet to another planet altogether. It looks like Jupiter, the to me. It could be Mars. What is that planet to you? You can see 
the path, kind of in your fantasies, you're leaving the planet. In the Eight of Cups, there's just something missing. So to be grateful for the willingness and the motivation to go on a spiritual journey to a place that you've never gone before that's coming out of something that gives you a sense of discontent in your daily life, Cancer. You may be hearing my adorable little dog snoring during this. I can hear him, he's so cute. Okay, thirdly, what are we revisiting? We have four planets in retrograde. Ooh, a manifestation, the magician. You are, you recently manifested something and you are revisiting that. Maybe it came in and you're like, is that what I really want? Or maybe you're thinking, hey, I manifested that and I forgot about it and has it come in? That kind of thing. Fourth, we'll ask, what is hidden that the tarot wants you to know? We get victory, which is like, I think I've, this deck is super weird and I always forget how provocative it is for me as a reader, um, the imagery, but so victory is when you're recognized for an accomplishment by others. So we can see all the birds have eyeballs on their wings and then this weird little bird is like got this con collection and is like, I'm victorious, um, all that willpower and fire of victory. And whenever I look at this card, you can see the divine support represented by that hand. But I look into that little collection, and, and what I feel about this Six of Wands is that as a reader, the that I don't understand the value system within which there is victory. So if that is what's hidden from you, is like you have an achievement, or somebody has an achievement, or somebody is saying victory lies here, and you're like, how is that victory? Like, why, why did, why is this collection of things something you're so proud of? It's like a dice, some kind of plastic flower, or maybe a real flower. What else is in here? A coin? I don't know. There's just a bunch of odds and ends that this cute little bird collected. And the bird's also wearing a collar and a crown. And that collar's making me think of, you know, like a domesticated animal. Hmm. And then this hand is wearing all of these rings. And I also think of the sun here. So like the sun is the happiest card in the tarot and you can see all the sunbeams like this is a happy card um i don't know what do all these rings on this hand mean it's just like such a bizarre feeling of victory here it's like observing somebody else's victory and being like well i'm glad you feel happy about that we're gonna ask because uranus is out there in Taurus, bringing in the future. What is incite the incitement in this moment? And there is some kind of truth that is inciting you into action. Right, so what we see here is um, strength is dissolving. Like perhaps you've been rising and rising to your higher self. Um, and from this is coming a discontent, this Eight of Cups that is actually inspiring you to go on some kind of a spiritual journey. You're questioning and the magician here, you know, did I manifest what I really want? Um, what did I manifest? You're in some way looking at what you asked for yourself in your life. And I think that's why this victory here, it's like you're now looking at your accomplishments and you're like, why did I want that? Um, and this is the result of a truth that you've realized recently. You've been handed this sword of truth here. Um, and with the magician, which is what you're revisiting, you can see down here the sword, the pentacle, the wand, and the cup. These are all the tools, and the magician has these tools. And with those tools, you can 
manifest the world that you want. So what's the future? The future is the devil. Interesting. I wondered about that because when strength is the card that beats the devil, um, because the devil is another image of the lion. So when this feminine element dominates the lion, all of this stuff is contained. <laughs> and this stuff, it looks scary to you. But, you know, I just feel it's my responsibility to tell you that this card can be like pleasure, your embodiment. You're just like being free in this beastly nature that we all have a beastly nature and we fear it. And we're always trying to suppress it. And sometimes strength comes into me as like, oh, I'm suppressing this. And like, look at where it got you. You're discontent. You don't understand why you thought getting all these things in your nest would be cause you victory. Um, yeah, so I'm going to welcome this devil in the future. We'll see what happens when we clarify. Um, I'm going to just say, as your queer reader, that, um, oh yeah, and I'm affirmed here on the end, on the, but this is about your card, the chariot. This is a very much that animal lion energy, that physical propulsion forward, that momentum. Um, this is card seven. It comes before strength. Strength puts that down. That's you, my friend, my cancer. So that's really about you. And you're coming in here like the empress, like earth herself, abundant, feminine like don't be afraid of the devil because you're misidentifying yourself what you want who you are your nature your cardinal ability to, to get stuff going um you've been it's like this it's time for this to dissolve this is a truth that's here justice two of air ace of swords there's a truth here that we need to explore further, and we will. Let's clarify. Okay. I was going to clarify with this deck here, and I'm feeling not, not that inspired to clarify with it. <laughs> so, ouch. I'm going to clarify with a different deck. Okay. Yeah, this, this, uh, this deck always calls to me because she's got the high priestess here. Light seers. I love her. There is the Empress again on the bottom of the deck. I feel this is the right choice to clarify for you, Cancer. Okay. I'm gonna have to shuffle a bit here since I pulled it hot from the box. What is going on? Intriguing. You know, Cancer, do you remember back in the beginning and this deck, this Light Seer's deck? that I started with. This was your deck. And I couldn't read this deck. And so I'd be like, well, I can't figure cancer out. But at some point, one of my cancer friends actually suggested I was over nosy or over revealing <laughs> in these readings. So pardon me. This is just between me and all you cancers. What is going on? Okay, I almost wanted to actually even use the Tarot of Sexual Magic for you, Cancer. I, so this feels like the devil like is about your desire, your lust, your pleasure. A positive kind of reading, but let's see. We're going to clarify strength. This is dissolving. What's the story here? There's your, one of your cards on the bottom there as I shuffle. Six of Cups. I haven't read this, but I think of cancers as nostalgic. What would you say to that? And the Six of Cups is that undefended love that, because I'm your, I'm a Scorpio, I'm your water sister, right? 
and Pisces, full moon of Pisces, like we got all this water going on here. So like you're like our our little our little sister, you know. So that undefended sweetness of the six of cups. Undefended love. Okay, clarifying strength. Oh, the lovers. A decision, your twin flame, soulmate. Yeah, this is, there's something here about your love. Your, it's almost like your sex life. There's justice again. Look, see those cups? The emotions are balanced. She sees herself reflected in the other. There's that sword, that truth on which justice is balanced. It's like a very two of cups kind of balancing injustice like in the way that I often am caused to think of social justice when I see a two of cups and the star healing, wish fulfillment. Wow. Hmm. Well, in your love life, you have chosen strength as your methodology of, of You've tried to stay balanced. Um, but what's happening, because we're all changing, we're all kind of unloading things right now, cosmically, astrologically, theoretically anyway. You know, see how you feel. But um, we're letting go of our old concepts. And so Pisces is helping, the moon in Pisces is helping you to dissolve um, this discipline in your romantic life and reach for wish fulfillment is is what you need to do instead so whatever you've been doing consider the choice that you made to seek balance and to be level um I'm like, I look at her and she's like, she she likes who she sees in her reflection. The upper woman. But this justice card says it's emotionally off balance. And that's where we get here with something in your everyday life is showing you that there is something missing on the emotional level. And it's it's making you willing to... Go on this spiritual adventure. You know, my thing for cancers, I can say this now because it's, it's so long in the past now. It's the first spring of, first spring of COVID. And I reconnected with an old friend who's a cancer. And man, it was a great connection. And then she just disappeared for my life and she told me that she she aspired to this spiritual journey it kind of broke my heart <laughs> but um i i hope she is on that journey as i see this here as i see this in your cards because i highly doubt she looks at my channel okay here you are knowing your worth grounded earth earthy queen of pentacles Sometimes she's a bit of a security queen, as you may know. I often am critical of the Queen of Pentacles. Like, she seems very, like, heteronormative, needs a husband. But even in a gay couple, she's like, a, she needs a partner that makes her feel safe. So, but this Queen of Pentacles, she's like, I know I'm gorgeous with my... Eyeshadow sitting out in my yard. Yeah, she doesn't care what I think. <laughs> she knows she's amazing. There's an ending. Mm hmm. And mm, not sure what to do. Indecisive. Which is the right choice? Seven of Cups. All these projections, all these fantasies. Very watery again. So your Eight of Cups. 
is preceded by the seven of cups, right? So we're clarifying this. This is our, it's really like a funny question, but we're supposed to be grateful for something that we find in the details of our everyday life. What I see here is that you you have been in this Queen of Pentacles state. This is your everyday earthy Virgo life. Um, we're asking this question of the sun in Virgo. And that's coming to an end somehow. This Queen of Pentacles spell. And, and then it's causing you to go into a Seven of Cups, Eight of Cups of like, oh, here's what I have. Here's my choices. I don't actually like any of my choices. So I'm ready for this spiritual journey. There's something just missing emotionally in your everyday life. And this is good that you you see this. It's very good. And there's the Empress on the bottom again, right? Got her here. She keeps wanting to come in. This is really key to, this is about you and who you are. And like, if you've been the Queen of Pentacles, who needs the King of Pentacles, right? The lovers being here and, and what is dissolving um, as you seek fulfillment. This looks much more like a spiritual solitary journey, like my cancer friend, right? So... Right? It's just a possible narrative that you're moving into the self-sovereignty of the empress. Like, it doesn't mean she doesn't have a partner. It's just not what she's about. It's not necessary. It's like, you know, I think love should be cherry on the Sunday, not something you need. Okay. You're revisiting the magician. Something you manifested. Your idea that you can make the world you want. Something like that. Something you've been exploring in recent months. Whenever Saturn went retrograde, I think it's the... There's the Emperor. Mr. Structural Power. He's very comfortable in his skin. He's playing the chess game here. He's got the Bishop. Is that Bishop? And the... Yeah, it's a card of Aries. Um, another, your fellow cardinal sign. It's a, I know what I want. I'm going to make it. That's what this magician, so you felt this recently. And then <laughs> there was a moon journey. This is the spiritual journey, possibly, of the Eight of Cups. It's when you go into your dark into your depths and it's the card of Pisces under this moon and the four of cups ho-hum been there done that don't see this beautiful rainbow cup behind me because I'm looking at everything that went wrong in the past I'm not even it's a small world view of four I'm not willing to aspire because I don't believe that the world, that the universe can deliver more. So, yes, you went forth on a moon journey like the emperor with courage. But you manifested a small vision because you looked to the past too much. You looked at what never worked out. And then you quit envisioning... Um, your vision is too small. No doubt. I have no doubt. Four of Cups. Too small. You came in with all this power and all this courage on this journey, and then you can still turn around and look at what's behind you. Okay? It's not over. It's not a failure. It's just in this retrograde season, look at it again. The next planet to go into retrograde, our emperor is sitting on it. <laughs> Mars. We'll be in retrograde. Mars is in Gemini until March. So because of this retrograde, so lots in your head, maybe. Okay. Victory is hidden from you. It's like we talked about it at length. It's that weird card, right? Oh, my tummy is growling. I, was, I think I only ate like pretzels with peanut butter. <laughs> And a peach. 
since going to Orange Theory, so I'll probably need to take a break and have a snack. <laughs> I was just in a hurry to do the tarot. Hanged Man Waiting popped up there. Okay, this is hidden. Victory. The Tower. Mm-hmm. Join the club. The Tower. Something is coming down. Built on a shaky foundation. This is really a beautiful inspiration. It's just like the truth that's um, coming in here. This is that, that Iranian revolutionary future seeking that's striking us and it's waking us up and inciting us to change. And that's coming in here with here's your eight of cups who will set you off on this spiritual journey we've been talking about and hey mr knight of cups the classy love offer is you do not see this that's so funny because you're going on a solitary journey and then there's mr true love and he's got a whole picnic here a love letter there's this white horse the light is striking the horse's head suggesting a unicorn like this is a rare guy you know he this particular one might not be your type i think he's cute got his tattoos and his roses and his converse he's your your fantasy whoever that is it doesn't have to be a boy <laughs> yeah you don't see this, it's a nice story. You're actually not seeking this Knight of Cups, but he's, in another version of this story, you're actually walking away from him because you've been struck by this. So you can see this on the table. Here he is and she's just walking away. And this is like an Ace of Cups. So that's another way to see this story, Cancer. All right. Here's your incitement, the truth. Let's clarify that. Hmm. Excuse me. Hmm. This whole thing of having a job, it's just really cutting into my tarot reading. Okay. There's a lack of truth, dishonesty, somebody's telling on somebody else who's sneaking away with all, hey, he's taking our feathers, or she, they're taking our feathers. Um, it's a thief in the night, lying, interesting. Let's find out more. Lack of truth. Ooh, travel in your mind, six of swords. So we got the seven and then the six of swords. Moving from stormy seas to calmer waters, this is about your ideas, your concepts. The mind here, the sword. So we've got justice with the sword. Emotional imbalance. Justice is needed to be brought. Walking away from or towards this Knight of Cups. And... It's like you're you're sneaking up on this truth. Yeah, that's what I see. This Eight of Cups journey. That's what I see. You setting off on it here, because okay, this is backwards. So on the table, it's like anyway, this is the correct orientation. Like it's like you're sneaking off under the moon, the full moon here, on this journey where you change your mind about something. What, what is it? Ooh, Page of Wands. It is very different, very fun, very free, new idea. You're dancing here. This is my queer card. My It's traditionally a card of foreign outside, somebody from a different country, outside the norms. That's what you're going towards. There's something liberating from how you've been doing strength, 
that self-discipline, and that's what I see you here throwing that, throwing it up into the sky joyfully. Oh, from all of this grim, pure, I, okay, this is a narrative of you've been kind of a Puritan, okay? You've been really good in some area, and that's over. And you need to know that you, this journey is calling you, and you have not gone on this journey for cups because you don't believe that there's actually something awesome and incredible and liberating for you ahead. Then you set off on this journey, perhaps walking away from a Knight of Cups. It could be you're walking towards it. And this is how you feel about it. It's like, ugh, it's such a dark grind. But your cause to go off on this journey, as we see, as we saw here, by a tower. Remember, you're questioning, like, why did I think this collection of odds and ends was victory? Why did I? It's almost like, yeah, because it's so important that the other birds are looking at the bird, and the bird's like, look, they're recognizing me. Victory's fleeting because really what matters the most is that you recognize and value and stand with you. And so if you've put all of your odds and ends into the basket of other people's approval, what happens is you get that and then you realize that's not what I want. That's not, that isn't, I am in an eight of cups. I am discontent. I am called to a journey. And it's a bummer that you're setting off on this journey, even though maybe there's a Knight of Cups ahead. But you're just like slogging along in this journey. And then here's where it takes you. Fantastic. And here's the future. Let's see what the devil, what the tar you know, because I have my opinions. But let's see what the tarot tells us about this future. I think it looks like. A lot of great sex in your future, Cancer. Let's see. Ten of Pentacles, security and abundance. Like what's that's what the Queen of Pentacles thinks she needs and wants. There's a uh, balancing lack of balance between things there in the two of pentacles and ooh, there's the manifesting the magician returning to the drawing board mm -hmm. so the, the so if we think about whenever i see like some of these twos like because you have the, this decision here and we're looking at all these cups balancing so when I ask, like, okay, what are we trying to balance? We're trying to balance the, the pleasure and the desire with the really practical needs that you seem to have. And so this is how you're just simply revising your vision for the future as you manifest a new. Whatever you manifest, I don't know yet. But don't be afraid of that devil. It's just you owning your body, owning your desire, owning your pleasure, and letting yourself envision something bigger than this. Or just see this. Quit being so dour, Cancer. There's a very saucy energy coming from the tarot for you. No doubt. On the bottom. Hmm. Ha! <laughs> okay. I'm going to give you these. Um, so on the very bottom, it just seems like a little practical, pentacles, earthy, building with others, making your vision real. That's some of that manifesting. And then with the heart-mind connection of the king of swords, who's intelligent and wise, and always wise in my readings because he is a connecting mind and heart. And then I'm going to give you this. Strength is upside down. She has dissolved in, in her place. 
the Empress. The Empress is you creating from you. Chariot energy. Um, there, there's another card under that, and that is the balancing up of the Six of Pentacles. You know, which is never a card that super thrills me, but which is the only possible card because Justice is already here twice that we could draw on to reiterate that. That are the Two of Cups. I would have preferred if you had the Two of Cups, but I'll take it. I feel there's a practicality here to you, Cancer, that I just kind of, I want to push you out of a little, but you get to balance that practical pentacles stuff with your desire. Um, and you ought to, when you envision the world, you re-manifest here. So that's what this reading is about. Have a beautiful day.